this look, I'm going to be featuring the Pantone Color of the Year Radiant Orchid. And this look is inspired by this Rare Earth picture. So it's basically just pink wash of color on the lids with a bronzy transition with pink lips. So this is the look I'm going for today. Let's get into the tutorial. I'll mainly be featuring today will be my Kat Von D Esperanza palette. I've already put my foundation on and I've done my brows. The next thing I'm going to do is get into the eye look. First things first, I'm going to use my Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. And I'm just going to put that over my lids. And I've also put a little bit of foundation on my lids. So this is just extra coverage. So with my first eyeshadow, I'm going to pick something pinky. And I'm actually going to use the color Placebo from the Esperanza palette, which is this one right here. I'm going to take my MAC 239 and shader brush and go into that placebo color and get that all over my lid. It's a really nice pinky coral color. And I don't wanna bring it up too high, just concentrating it on only the lid. The next color I'm going to use is called Dog Roses. It's this bronzy color down here. And I'm going to pop that into my crease and up to my brow bone. And it's just a really nice bronzy shade. And just putting that into my crease and up to my brow bone. And this color has a lot of fallout. I kind of thought I would do this as my first Pantone Universe look because it was in the book and it is a little more simpler. It doesn't require any loud colors. It's just basically two colors with a really nice pink lip. I'm going to take my MAC 224, go into that same bronzy color, tap off the excess, and just blend out my eye. The, this color is super, it has super fallout. I don't necessarily like that, but hey. What can I do? Now I'm going to go into a deeper brown color just to deepen that to give me a little more definition. And I'm going to be using Max Texture, I believe. It's that right there. And I'm just going to be putting that in my outer V area. Because this Dog Roses color is very um, glittery and it's falling out, I'm going to actually use my finger to put a little of the color on my lid just so that I know it's going to stay where I place it. And I'm placing it in my crease and up to my brow bone. When a color is really shimmery and there's a lot of fallout, I like to just pat it on with my finger because it seems to work the best. Next, I'm just gonna go back into that first pink color we used, which was placebo, and I'm just gonna darken up my eyeshadow. Just in case it faded away when all the blending was occurring. Now I'm gonna go back in with my 217 and simply blend out these colors. Uh -huh. 
Now that I'm done with the eye look, well, most of it, I'm going to go in with my highlight color, which is my Urban Decay ABC Gum. It's just that neutral shade. And I'm just going to use a fluffy brush. And once again, I like using this when I'm doing very shimmery colors because this is very matte. And it's like the color of my skin tone. Next, I'm going to do my lashes and liner. And I'll be right back. Okay, I have applied my lashes. The next thing I'm going to do is my eyeliner on the lower lid. For my upper lid, I just did a thicker variation of the picture and I used my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. For my lower lid, I'm going to use that Dog Roses color, the same bronzy gold color, and I'm just going to smudge that on my lower lash line. So I just went ahead and smudged that on my lower lash line and I also put it in my inner tear duct to give it a little more radiance there. Next, the next thing I'm going to do is take my YSL 2G clock and clean up my corners of my eyes just by pumping this a couple times and drawing a line that I will blend out just to add some brightness to that area. This look is really simple. There's no blush, or at least it doesn't look like it. So I'm just gonna bronze up my cheeks to give myself a little definition and color without going overboard. And for that, I'm gonna use my Bare Minerals All Over Face Color and Warmth, what I used for contouring and bronzing. So, I'm just gonna sift that product out. Take my MAC 136. Swirl it around and just add a little definition to my cheeks. In the picture, it looks it looks kind of bronzy and um, golden, but it doesn't really look like she has on any definite blush. So that's why I'm doing this. For a highlight, I'm going to be using my Laura Mercier Baked Radiance in 01 with my fan brush and just popping that right above where I've placed some of the color on my cheeks. And this is just going to add to making my cheeks look really glowy like the models in the picture. And for the last step, I'm going to be doing the lips, which are baby pink. So I will be using my Buxom Full On Lip Cream in Creamsicle and it's just a really nice pink color. And since it's a gloss, it's easy to put on. You don't really need lip liner. So that is the finished look. Let me get closer up, show you what it looks like. I hope you were able to see how I captured my version of the Rare Earth um, look from the Pantone Universe collection at Sephora. I'll have all the products listed down below and please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for the next one. Bye. So I actually lied. I went back and I did some uh, mascara on my lower lashes just to make the look pop a little more. So this is the finished look and I hope you enjoyed it. I think the mascara just brings the look all together, especially with the bronze on my lower lashes. So I hope you enjoyed this. See you next time.